Hey everybody, my name is Gadget Trish, and I found some Dr. Save Me approved cereals that I wanna do a taste test on. So before I get into this taste test, the milk I am using is homemade. I got this from the Bobo Cooks, best believe is vegan uh, cookbook. It's the hemp walnut milk. The only difference is I added double the agave and double the dates because I, I like my milk just a little bit sweeter, especially if we're gonna be trying unsweetened cereals. So with that bit being said, I'm going to let you know if I love it, leave it alone, or if it's just okay. So let's just get into it. The first cereal, uh, Quinoa Pops, is coming from Amazon.com. This was the most expensive of all the cereals. This basically cost me $9. I had no idea I was getting so little and uh it's gluten free it's vegan of course and it only has one ingredient organic popped quinoa so got my little tiny bowl here uh, make sure you shake your milk shake 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 love it or leave it It's okay. Let me try it without the milk. Okay, this is very bland. Um, you know, if you're like me and you have a sweet tooth, you're gonna wanna add more sugar to this. Or agave sugar. Um, it's okay. It's just not sweet enough for me, but, um, I would say this, if it wasn't so expensive, I would buy it again and just throw a little bit more agave on it, but it's not expensive. I don't know. Okay. The second cereal is quinoa queen. One ingredient home organic whole uh, quinoa. Let me try it without the milk so I know what I'm getting into. I'll save my thought on that. <laughs> um, love it or leave it. <laughs> leave it but it has potential um out the box it's horrible it tastes weird to me with the milk it's better but I'm struggling with this weird aftertaste I'm just going to get some agave, people. I'll be right back. I'm going to put some agave on this cereal because I want to like it. Much better with the agave. Not a thumbs up. Okay. It reminds me of Cheerios. I will say that. But I will give the cereal this much credit. Considering it's gluten-free, it has one ingredient. What am I expecting at this point? To be honest, it needs some help. Coming from an overly processed, high sugar type of cereals, 
This is going to take some adjusting. Okay, we have two more cereals. Be back. This cereal is coming from Aaron Head Mills. This is not quite Dr. Sabi approved. I'm going to classify this as Sabi ish or alkaline ish. This has spelt flakes, organic fruit juices, concentrate, sea salt, absorbic acid, vitamin E. Um, I would say this would be equivalent to cornflakes. Well, I'll taste it without sweetener. I, didn't, I just out of habit. I'm so used to just eating stuff. I'll save my thoughts without milk. All right, guys. Belt flakes. Love it or leave it. This one I love. This tastes like something I'm used to eating. Granted, this is not one ingredient, to be fair. Tastes really good without, um, straight out the box. Mmm. I love this one. Mm-hmm. Oh. By the way, I got this one from Whole Foods. Last but not least, this is Kamut Puffs. This came from Whole Foods as well. This is also not gluten-free, um, but has one ingredient, Kamut wheat. Cool, vegan. Um, I would say this would be comparable to Sugar Smacks. Or Honey Smacks. Yeah, I think it's Honey Smacks. Um, oh, let me try it without any milk. I'll save my thoughts. Love it or leave it. It's okay. It needs sweetener like crazy. Wow. Um, we're going to throw some agave on here. Because it, it reminds me of Honey Smacks without the honey. So I'm just going to put some extra agave up in my studio. Mm. Okay. So overall, coming from the cereals that I grew up and love, this was a tough one to love. Um, like some of my favorite cereals, so you have an idea of my fl flavor palette was uh, stuff like Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh my God, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is my all-time favorite. Um, Fruit Loops. So now you have an idea of what I grew up on. And to come to like this is like, oh wow, where's the sugar? I will say this. This is my favorite, the Spelt Flakes, but <sighs> it's not one ingredient. It's, it's several ingredients, but I can see myself making this part of my staple, but uh, please check out my other post, my review on the Bobo Cooks Workshop. Shout out to Bobo Cooks. This is definitely one of my favorite cookbooks. Um, he didn't pay me to say that. I'm, like, I'm a real customer. I love his stuff. Please don't forget to sub, like, and share. And until my next post, Gadget Trish is out. Think vegan. Bye.